This video will tell you all you need to know about your digestive system. It will tell you what the role of the digestive system is and how each of the different organs that are involved achieve this. It will also show how the digestive system is linked to the circulatory system and the big idea of respiration which is crucial to understanding any aspect of human biology. Let's begin with a look at the alimentary canal. You can think of this as one single tube going from your mouth to your anus that your food passes through. Anything that stays inside this tube is going to leave through the anus, so no nutrition will be absorbed. The job of the digestive system is to absorb as much nutrition as possible from your food, and for this to happen it needs to break the food up into small enough pieces to fit through the wall of the alimentary canal, mostly in the small intestine. This process begins in the mouth, where teeth break food up into pieces small enough to swallow and saliva moistens the food. Saliva also contains the first enzyme of the digestive system, amylase, which breaks starch into sugar. The esophagus transports food from the mouth to the stomach. As with the rest of the alimentary canal, the food is moved by peristalsis, which is where waves of muscle contraction push the food along the tube, which you can see in your neck when you swallow. When the food reaches the stomach, it is mixed with strong acid and churned into a paste. The acid protects against any pathogens that could infect you through your food, as well as work to break up your food. A strong acid prevents most enzymes being effective, but pepsin, which breaks down proteins into amino acids, is effective at low pH, so it does its work in the stomach. Once the food is in a suitable state, it is pushed through into the small intestine. Enzymes from the pancreas and bile that has been stored in the gallbladder after being made in the liver are added here. The bile acts to neutralise the acid from the stomach, which is important so that the new enzymes that have been added from the pancreas can work properly. Bile is also an emulsifier, which makes it easier to break down fats. The small intestine is where the food spends the longest time whilst travelling through the alimentary canal. It's where most of the nutrition is absorbed, so let's look at the structure of a small intestine more to see how this is done. The inside of the tube is not smooth, but has a huge number of finger-like villi along the full length. These help absorption because they massively increase the surface area. In fact, if you zoomed in even further, you could see microvilli, which are tiny villi on the villi to make the surface area even greater. Villi also have a very good blood supply through many capillaries, which is important as what is being absorbed by the body needs to be transported to where it is needed, which is the job of the blood and circulatory system. The blood is taken straight to the liver, where the absorbed products are processed into different substances that the body needs. Because the walls of each villus are so thin, they're just a single cell thick, substances easily diffuse through and into the blood. All the way along the small intestine, food is being moved by peristalsis and is continually being broken down by the enzymes it has been mixed with and the bacteria that live there. Once it reaches the end of the small intestine, the nutrition which the body can absorb has been absorbed. It still contains a lot of water, however, and if all of this passed out, there would be a real risk of dehydration. The large intestine then absorbs the water, leaving a drier waste material that is passed out and called faeces. This is material that the body was unable to break down so that it could be absorbed, such as fibre. A quick recap then. The alimentary canal is what the food actually passes through. It is made up of the mouth, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine and anus. The pancreas, liver and gallbladder are also part of the digestive system but not of the alimentary canal because they are involved in making, storing and processing substances involved in digestion but the food itself does not pass through them. You should be able to see how digestion links to the circulatory system as the products are transported away from the small intestine to the rest of the body. One of these products is sugar, which was produced by starch being broken down by amylase into glucose. Glucose is needed by every single cell in the body for respiration.